Hello everyone and welcome to the news for this week. We got a bunch of stuff and a little something extra at the end, so stick around for that. Let's get into it. Oh yeah, I guess I meant to do the wheel spin thing. It's just gotta be potions. So ooh, oh wow, the uh Ooh, the servers, okay. First up we got a tweet from Artix addressing some more AQ Mobile stuff, subtly. Uh but any AQ mobile stuff I'll take. So was working AQ Mobile with Warlick. And the team switched my weapon, logged into normal AQ worlds, and my weapon was changed there too. Minimizing my window, forgot I was logged in, came back to a bunch of people. Uh, and I think Snowverse is wearing unreleased summer gear. I think it's still spring, but there's unreleased summer gear that staff is wearing in game, so good to know, good to know. Cool hat. Anyway, uh, yeah, good stuff. They switched the weapon, sometimes my thoughts get ahead of my mouth. Uh, but switching weapons in one game switches them in the other so they're going i really hope that the flash version of the game isn't going to be cross-platform with the with the uh, mobile version i i hope they're separated at, at least to some extent like some items on mobile that wouldn't work at, on flash at all like a sword with an animation that would just drop the fps to zero on uh on flash should probably exist on the mobile because it would be able to run perfectly fine with no like nothing wrong with it at all so i i really the technical aspect between those two having items shared is weird anyway let's move on so from van was really cool uh this set i showed this in a previous news video now we kind of have an updated version of it which is officially going to be coming to the game there's no word on this one uh you can hope you can hope you can hope on this one but and this was a commission too. A chaos version of it was made. Now it is, there are significant changes to it. It's not exactly the same if you look. Yeah, the, the legs similar on the female one and the few, you know, the arm and stuff on the female, but uh, it's different enough. Uh, anyway, so a really cool chaos version and Alina even said somewhere here, I think it might've been a retweet, but uh, yeah. There was confirmation this is, will be coming to the games at the end of this month or next month, sometime soon. So very cool stuff there from Van. Would be cool to get this also, but I, I don't I don't think we will. Was there an Easter release this year? Is that, is that tomorrow? Uh, maybe? Uh, I don't know. Kotaro with a commission for this set. I, I, I feel like this is a reference to a show or something that I haven't seen before. And I read this, I read this as Space Godzilla, Shadowverse. Uh, Bakugan, Yu-Gi-Oh! I don't know where this is from, but he's got a... Homie's got a uh, iPad on his wrist, which is pretty cool. And it looks like maybe something to eject cards at the front of it. So maybe, maybe Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, I'm not too sure. Uh, but yeah, cool stuff there. There's only a male version so far, but uh, yeah, Chrysalis Duelist. Maybe we'll see more of that set in the future. Maybe not. Cool stuff though. Update for Lay's Elf set. Uh, the glows on the staff is just ah, very good very good i love the, uh, the light orbs on the front and back of that staff although it's a staff anyway anyway not getting into that armor itself looking cool always always got the armored arms i've noticed uh with the lay stuff and a little bit of <laughs> just full cloth everything you gotta have a little bit on a little bit on your uh, on your leg and a little bit on your arm just it's just to cover your base you know a little bit of stat points there but uh, good stuff. I think it's going to be color custom because it's the same armor, just green and blue. So, good. Cool. Cool, cool. Lei also posted a cool remake of an older NPC from AQ, Yara. So, I don't know if this... He said it was just for fun, so I'm not sure if this will be used in the game in any way. But it's really cool to see, nonetheless. It looks like Antism's NPC is going through a rework based on the fact that he changed his profile picture. And, yeah, the, the word on the tweet... But uh, yeah, it's kind of like a subtle gold. I, yeah, it's like for AQ gold, it's very dull color wise. But uh, yeah, probably what he's going for there. And it looks like three Cape of Oz taped together as the cape. So yeah, good stuff there. Also, what looks like a Cyber Galanoff uh, from Antism too. It's definitely a Cyber Galanoff. Not too sure what that's for. Maybe an upcoming quest line? Cool map art as well from Antism, so yeah, a bunch of uh, variety and some cool stuff there from that artist. Snowverse giving us another look at that uh, cat onesie set, now with like a cat pillow 
and a sad cat on a uh, as a pet, just a really really oversized sad cat on a pillow. Just just great stuff there. You can get a better look at the actual armor there. Some sleeping cats, I guess they're pajamas. So yeah, really cute set there, and I hope to see that in the game. Johan, uh, which recently the, the artist that had the derp items added to the game, so really cool to see those in the game. And uh, he has a suggestion for May the 4th, which they usually do Star Wars stuff on May 4th, if you're new around here. Uh, and even if it's not, an, like they'll do it on that day too, so uh, check check the game on May 4th. There will probably be an update with some gear, space themed. Uh, so that's what the original looks like down there, and that's what inspired this version of it. So. Yeah, that actually looks rather good. It, my suggestion would be to make it black and make all the uh, cables there red. Like all the, uh, all the little brown, green, whatever color that is. I don't know. Uh, making all that uh, red and the armor black. Like shine to it. And the uh, and that red. Oh, it looks so good. But anyway, the white, the white looks cool nonetheless. Anyway, moving on. Sefi uh, with this naval that we showed last week in the news, so I'll just quickly go over this. He added a bunch of uh, weapons and helmets and stuff to the set, so look, looking like a complete set here. Really cool to see. And uh, maybe uh, Sefi will be suggesting it for Talk Like Pirate Day this year in September, which will be here before you know it. Don't blink. Also made this really cool gift for Adam, uh, which is sick. Adam's a really cool guy. Uh, give him a follow on Twitter. Give Sefi a follow. Uh, link will be in the description to the suite, and it has really cool artwork there, green and black uh, stuff. Elena also confirming a set from Sefi, the summer one, uh, I've shown this in previous weeks, uh, is confirmed to be coming out in the game later this year for summer. They'll probably do like a summer uh, event with the chests and stuff like they did last year. Really good items uh, last year, even though a lot of them were seasonal and not rare in the 10k chest. It's kind of weird how they did that. It's like one of the only 10k chests where half of it was... Uh, seasonal items but uh we'll see we'll see what they do this year and it uh, looks like we already got art for it most likely for may the 4th i mean if you could read uh yeah this will most likely be released in the game on may 4th uh from atar there so it's actually really cool looking gear like some bounty hunter stuff i'm guessing is what they're going for there and uh the goggles and that hair i'd like to see a male version of that too i usually don't say that but i would anyway won't hear me asking for male stuff. You probably guess I don't play a male character, but there's that. Uh, yeah. Uh, really, uh, that... The blade's on the, the wrong side of the character. Is it like a reverse blade on the other side? I'm not too sure. I didn't really look too closely at that before I saw this, but... That's kind of interesting if it is. It's going to be kind of a newer thing out of all these sets. So, yeah, really cool stuff from uh, Akatrial there. I still probably pronounce that name wrong, that person's name wrong, I'm sorry. Some cool uh, hairstyles. I love seeing hairstyles, different ones. Great to see uh, from Flare Mist here. And uh, yeah, those look pretty neat. Hopefully they're gonna get finished up and uh, shaded, shaded. Also a bun. Speaking of hair, uh, Daniel has one also. Uh, I really like the, usually I don't like the extra add-on stuff to it, but I think that actually looks kind of cool. The little bead and the uh, wraparound like I don't know what you call it, the kind of crown thing, the elf ear. Yeah, looking neat. No clue how to say his artist's name, a C-D-E-R-F-E. Anyway, uh, some like swimsuits. I the stuff in the middle, I don't think they would add that to the game. It's a little, showed a little too much. Although, that, if you look at the gold armor and you change the skin color, the, the gold armor that's in the game right now, the one that costs a bunch of gold, uh, don't change that to your skin color. That shows uh, more than this does basically uh but yeah so it's a little little bit on, out there but and i think this is based off kataro's art too judging by the player model and that i'm pretty sure it is but uh, it's a cool idea there for a, a nice little one piece i don't know if there's any I, I think there are one piece swimsuits in aq i'm not i can't think of any off the top of my head though zine x uh with the nolgath and Dage criminal set is what he calls it with the kind of like a mechanics like one one piece like jumper whatever you call it uh, yeah, so the the helmet under the hood looks a little <laughs> odd in my opinion, although the eyes look very cool. So yeah, it's a, it's a neat idea. This was uh, some really cool looking art from Rena. Uh, the face looks a little different from AQ from used to. I think it's a line under the eyes makes it look really odd uh, for an AQ set. But other than that, the uh, the hair and everything, the claws, the feet with the uh, like kind of astral, like I don't know what to call it. 
It's got a cool, got a cool, uh, cool vibe to it. I, I dig it. I don't know what's on the horn. Is that glue or something? I don't know. Uh, the portage with a warlord class redesign. So there's the original on the right and on the left, the redesign, of course. Uh, yeah, some cool stuff from Portage. Give them a follow on Twitter if you're not already. All right, there are two drops. There's actually three. There's default swords, uh, this rare helmet. It's a helmet that says rare. The rare text is color custom. Really cool drop. It's only available till the 30th. So make sure you pick that up before it goes rare. Anyway, uh, <laughs> and illness. Happy birthday, illness. I'm not sure exactly if it was today. Yeah, but this will be available on the 30th until 30th. So grab that as well. So some cool. I don't know if it's fully CC. I haven't farmed it in game yet. I'll do that tomorrow on stream. I haven't farmed this either. But uh, yeah, make sure you go grab those. As far as I can tell, uh, Lena didn't tweet about the default swords, uh, but the AQ News and uh, the News uh, Twitter, they did. So yeah, uh, that's kind of weird. But Garden Quest for the default swords, they're color custom, limited time drop. They'll probably be gone on the 30th, like all the other stuff. Make sure you go grab them. Uh, yeah, like the, no, nothing official showed where they were, or how to get them. Uh, but there were some rubber chickens they tweeted out also. So go pick those up till April 30th. All right, I said there was going to be something a little special at the end. Uh, that was, there's going to be a giveaway for 40,000 ACs or enough Artix points to get 40,000 ACs uh, that Spider gave me. He just DM me on Twitter, uh, basically out of nowhere, and said, hey, you want to give away some uh, ACs? I'm like, sure, <laughs> I'll give away some ACs. And here we are. So if you want to enter that, I'm going to pick a comment at random on stream tomorrow. From the, from the comment section on this video. So leave a comment, uh, leave whatever you want. Maybe I'll pick the comment with the, mm, uh, mm, I don't, not the most likes. I'll just pick a random comment. So you leave one, I'll go through them all. We'll pick a random one. I'll do it live on stream. So, you know, I'm not like playing favorites or whatever. Yeah, I he gave me three sets of 40K ACs. So like $300 worth of ACs. Uh, Spider, the guy that made AQ Light. Uh, yeah, so go give Spider a follow on Twitter. I will leave a description uh, link at the top of the description for his Twitter. Go give him a follow. And uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, it's really cool of Spider to do that. We'll pick a winner tomorrow. And then we'll do one next week and the week after that as well. So yeah, I'll see you then. And uh, a big thanks to all of the channel members for supporting the channel for as long as they have. And uh, yeah, thanks to all the new and old members. Really appreciate that from all of them a lot. Okay, we will like on the video if you like it, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. I'll see you guys all in the next one. And uh, give me a follow on Twitter too. We're, I think I'm like 40 away from 10,000. Cool to hit. So, see you there. And bye-bye. Uh,